What's happening to me? What the? Blue? Are you okay? Oh, blue? Blue? Oh, God. My stomach hurts. Uh, should we call an ambulance? I don't know, but something's wrong with her. Uh, help me! Blue, stay with me. Come on, stay with us. Uh, come on, live! Live! Uh I've never been so scared in my entire life. I'm with you on that, pal. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, everybody. It's Jamal here. And welcome back to my creepy puzzle review series. And today, we're going to review an actual good story this time. It's called... Blue's Clues, the Vampire Sub. What? Hey! What's it? Oh, come on! <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll do what you want. <sighs> okay, so, unfortunately, today we'll be reading Blue's Room, Blue the Blood Beast. And yes... It's written by my arch nemesis, Kevin05 fan. Yes, for those of you who don't know, Kevin05 fan was recently banned from the Spin Pasta Wiki. So he tried to spend his, he tried to spread his filth to another you know, fandom of creepy pastas, where he could do whatever he wanted and no one could fucking stop him. And this resulted in horseshit! And this is one of those instances of horseshit. By the way, Elisha, you recently made another story where you said you quitted the creepypasta thing altogether. If, if, th if this is just a thing, if you made this about a few days ago, then I just want to talk! Alright, so let's get this piece of shit over with. So the episode starts with this asshole Kevin... Talking about his oh so scary and not boring at all experience with another Blue's Clues story, which was the first story I've ever reviewed. And it sucked so hard that it made into others, that it resulted in other stories that sucked harder. Alright, so he explains the show, and then, and then he tells them the story. I would show you the screenshots, but thankfully those... Shit-eating excuses for screenshots are no longer of it, are either in development or just unavailable right now. So he decided to tell everyone about the Blues Room DVD, which is weird because Blues Room does really get a lot of notice. So he covers the whole series, and then we get a warning. You know, a season one, so which is just, and it's just gonna be shit. And this, <clears throat> and this is a ripoff of the blood, of the Rubber Dubber's Blood Moon Creepypasta. Yeah, you know, that other shit-eating creepypasta Elijah made? <sighs> See, Kevin, this is exactly why you're banned from the Spin Pasta Wiki. Right, then he, and, and the differences, there's a blood moon in, in almost every shot, and no one noticed because they're stupid as all sh So after that shit-eating excuse for an intro, Blue tells everyone to come see what she just witnessed. A blood red moon. Little did Blue know... That she was fucked. So, everyone's staring at the blood red moon. And everyone's forward. 
the blue still staring at it and rested in shit, then she begins to change. And she becomes a bloodthirsty, blood-red, werewolf-like monster. And then Blue tries to eat everyone. He's a little hungry. Blue eat. See, she says... She talks in fourth person, you know, like Cookie Monster, but... But through the rest of the story, she talks like a normal person would. Okay. Now, some of you may be asking, why didn't this episode have, if we have Blue turn into a werewolf and the other characters try and turn her back to normal? And the reason for this episode's unerring being, you know, because Blue's werewolf design scared children. And why couldn't the plot have been the other characters trying to turn Blue back and stop her from eating everything? Well, let me answer, let me answer this question for all of us. See, if Kevin decided to choose this route, that would, in, that would imply taking, by paying homage to the actual source material. And the problem there is that the story, in a way, would actually be kind of good. And that wasn't what he was going for. <laughs> or maybe he just wanted to do something original. So after eating Rory, Fred, and Polka Dots, she goes on to eat B Oogie Woogie, Doodle Board, Silly Sea, Dress Up Chest, The Key, and eventually Muna. After that, she praises the Blood Moon and threatens to eat the viewer. After a bunch of credits, we get a bunch of abridged bullshit and then the story ends. Okay. Okay, I'm already starting to feel right at home. It's been a long time since I talked about some of Kevin's shitty stories, and I didn't really miss them. But this one is probably one of the worst by far. This story could suck my cock and balls. It, okay, everything about the story is just a broken down mess. It, it doesn't even bother to pay homage to the actual source material it was based on. It's just... How okay, when does a, does a blood moon come in every 20 centuries or some shit? It's just, what, a blood moon? Seriously, something, and I, a concept from a Big City Greens episode turned into a Rubber Dubbers episode, turned into a Blues Room episode. Just, just. The mind fuckery just baffles me. See, I can't even describe. I can't even come up with genuine words to describe it. That's how bad it is. Okay. I'd rather thaw a frozen dog turd. I'd rather dip a skunk in the toilet bowl covered in shit and then suck its fur dry. I'd climb a mountain of dead fish just to get away from this furry piece of shit. You know what? I gotta fight this. I well, I didn't use any of my fuck points yet, so might as well do that now. Fuck this goddamn motherfucking piece of shit, motherfucking bullfuck. Okay, maybe I'll try genuine criticism. Okay, this story reels you in with its interesting concept. And then, once the episode starts, it bends you over and fucks you to hell! Ah! You know what? Alright. Die! Piece of shit! Alright. Say hello to my little friend, you no good piece of shit! Huh? What happened? Wait, Blue? Jamal? You were that horrible blood-sucking monster that whole time? What are you talking about? Uh, 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 never mind. Let's go get you something to eat. Okay, I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs>